Hey, hey, friends. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's What's for Dinner. This week is a little bit different because I have been under the weather, to say the least. Um, you can probably still hear it in my voice, but I'm getting there. Um, not 100% yet, but I hope to be there. But I did take some time off, thankfully, <laughs> which kind of worked out perfect. So um, I do have four four meal ideas. One of them was a breakfast idea, but I just went ahead and put it in with this since I didn't um, get my vlog ready in time. It will be up on Thursday though, so you'll still see it as part of it for the breakfast for the birthday boy. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and Think about subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family because I would absolutely love to have you. And we are almost at 5K. So <laughs> as soon as we get there, I might have a little bit of a giveaway for you. So we'll have to see once we get there. But I just want to say I appreciate every single one of you for the love and support. And I hope you decide to stay around and, like I said, mash that button. But without further ado, let's get into this week's What's for Dinner. Come on, let's go. Okay, so to start out, we are just um, putting some biscuits. They're just the frozen, I believe. These were the Great Value brand, um, the Walmart buttermilk biscuits. This was actually Leo's birthday breakfast. This is what he picked for the morning of his birthday. And they always get to pick all their meals for that day. So um, he wanted a sausage, gravy, and biscuits, of course. So that's what Mama made him. But I just went ahead and got these on the pan and get them um, off to the side real quick so I could start this gravy. I'm going to use the Jimmy Dean hot sausage and I just start out <clears throat> by browning that up. I'm so sorry y'all, I'm still recovering <laughs> from not feeling the best so um, just bear with me. But I've got that in my skillet here and I just need to brown that up to where it has a little bit of that um, the sausage um, grease or aka liquid gold as I call it that in the bacon grease because it makes the best um, gravy so I'm just going to go ahead and continue browning this and once it's brown as you can see there is a little bit of that grease in the bottom <clears throat> I do add a little bit of butter um, to the bottom of the pan too to kind of help make that roux um, which is why I'm adding the flour to it I don't remove my sausage for this I just put the flour on in some people move like take the sausage out and then um, make their flour and everything but I don't I've never done it this is the way I was taught so that's what I'm doing and then to get that flour started I just start out with a little bit of um, water right there to kind of you know break it down and then once I do that I add in my heavy cream or my milk however you want to do it um, whatever you want to use it's your house your rules you make it your way but um, I do mine with heavy cream and milk um, so once it's like that I just put a little bit of salt in it let it cook down and wait on those biscuits and that is what we had for Leo's birthday breakfast and here's the finished plates and this was so good y'all Hey guys, sorry, I thought I had this on, but I didn't. But I'm making meatloaf tonight. So I have three pounds of hamburger meat. It's the 97.3, I think, or 93.7, sorry. And then I have a sleeve of saltine crackers, some Worcestershire sauce, A1 sauce, and then seasonings of your choice. And then I dumped in a bag of the French onion, or just the onion soup mix, not the French onion. Just the Lipton onion soup mix is going in there too. I'm going to mix all this together along with two eggs. I'll leave my recipe down below. And I'm going to bake it at 350 until it's done. It won't take very long, so I'm putting in a sheet pan so it's going to be thinner, which is very good on a quick 
um, easy night dinner. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. And we're going to have leftover mashed potatoes. And I'm going to heat up a can of green beans. And that's going to be dinner tonight. All right, so we have our green beans right here. The leftover homemade mashed potatoes. And, of course, the sheep pan meatloaf. <laughs> That's dinner tonight, y'all. Hey, hey, friends. Tonight's dinner is a grilled cheese and tomato soup. As y'all can hear, <laughs> I am a little bit stopped up. Um, I don't know if it's the change in the weather because we went from 80s and 90s down to um, 70s and 50s at night. And um, so, yeah, yay me. <laughs> but I'm going to make some grilled cheese for everybody. And then I'm going to heat up a couple cans of these soups. I need to put those up. Um, but we're just going to have tomato soup and grilled cheese tonight. evening we are going to make um, chili. So I have 93.7 ground beef. I've got a can of diced tomatoes. I've got some black beans. I got a can of chili starter, um, can of chili beans, um, just the pinto beans, and then a can of the kidney beans. Um, my favorite chili seasoning, which is the chilio. And then I've got about six cans left of the eight juice. <laughs> so all I need to get is just a packet of the um, Lipton onion soup mix because I do put that in there as well. I'm just going to go and dig it out. I am on the mend. I'm feeling better today than I have been since I got sick. <clears throat> I still don't have a lot of energy, but I'm getting there. And um, just, I just keep on keeping on. I mean, you can't do much more. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this chili started and I'm just going to take you all along with me. So oh, y'all, I was going to show you, but my tripod is no more. It will not work. So, um, first step, brown your hamburger. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put some seasonings in it and that, um, I think, yeah, I'm just going to season this up real quick. Here are the three seasonings I'm using, the Dia Complete, Kinder's, the blend, and black garlic. All right, so I have all of that seasoned, and I'm just gonna go ahead and brown this up, and then I'm gonna look for my Lipton onion soup mix and get that ready so we can dump both of these seasoning packets into the ground beef. I do mine a little bit different. Once this is brown, since I don't have to drain it, I dump both of those packets in, so the chili -o and the Lipton's onion soup mix in here, and then we'll start dumping in all the canned goods. So give me just a sec. Okay, so the hamburger's browned. I dumped in the soup mix and the packet of chili -o. We're gonna stir this all together and then we're gonna dump in everything and I'll bring you back once I've dumped in all of these goodies right here. Okay, so we've got all the beans and everything in there. So now we're just gonna start adding the V8 juice. I done put one can in. I'm gonna do probably three cans and these are 5.5 ounces, so. I'm going to do three to four cans. I'm going to stop at three and let it cook for a little bit, and then we'll see. All right, y'all, I've got everything added in there. I did go ahead and use three cans, those three of the 5.5-ounce cans of V8 juice. And I added a little bit of extra cumin and some a little extra chili powder. Just a little bit extra, never hurts. And I might add in another pack of Chilio. I think I have 
a half a pack opened so I might dump the rest of that in but I need to let this cook a little bit first so I will bring you back and show you the finished bowls I guess <laughs> all right y'all that is it for this week's what's for dinner I hope y'all enjoyed it and until next time God bless bye